Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide rule tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to calculate amps or watts being used by any device. The only tool required is an amp clamp. To test for amps, we set the tester to amps. The most common mistake made when testing for amps is attempting to test the entire wire at one time, as shown here. Testing this way will not work. To test for amps, we must test only one wire at a time. The test is performed while the device is running. The two most common tests are starting amps or running amps. To test for starting amps, we set our tester to max hold if our tester is so equipped. If not, monitor the tester while the device is started and note the highest reading. To test for running amps, we simply test for amps after the device is started and the amps is stabilized. This should usually occur in less than 60 seconds. If watts are the unit of measurement required, watch the tutorial titled Converting Amps to Watts. This concludes our tutorial, but please stay tuned and let us introduce you to the super cool slide rule. It is the most useful tool in the HVAC industry and it's guaranteed to save you lots of money by saving you lots of time. Thanks for watching our tutorial. Hello. I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheat or subcooling method the back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors, rules, and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for ductwork, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The SuperCool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.